Did you know about Ryan Round's arthritis? Arthritis? I didn't think Ryan had arthritis. Have you seen this before? Um, nope. Sorry, never heard of him. And what do you know about this? This is Simon's. I bought this for him when we were on holiday. Has he lost it? He dropped it. No, you can't keep anything. Did you know about Simon's laptop being stolen? Yeah, because it had all my college work on it, which I hadn't backed up or saved. Uh, not that it mattered much, but uh, I did buy a new one. And Simon uses it now, when I let him. Buy a new laptop for them both, use Simon's laptop, okay. Thank you, we'll probably be back later. There's definitely things I need to go around and talk about, but I'm gonna first go into the woods, do my whole laps. I feel like I'm doing the fucking marathon sometimes. Apparently, if you want to get some good workout, just walk around a town back and forth being a detective. Do a lot of <laughs> walking around at that point. Okay. Anything in this corner of the what? I was gonna say this corner of the woods. That's actually literally what it is. I was just saying a saying, but there you go, it works too well here. Anything on the inside? I still hope this game has a ridiculous, crazy ending. We'll see, though. Alright, nothing really going on in here. Actually, I should check the TV. I want to make sure I don't miss the little things that'd be super easy to look over. I know it takes a little bit for the animation to play, but eh, whatever. Is there anything over by the TV? Like, any new fingerprints or something? No? It's also still the Atlas disc or whatever. Let's leave. Okay, the atrium. Let's try the door on the right first, because I like this room. Because it's probably the creepiest room in the game. I, I can't quite put my finger on why it's the creepiest room in the game. Maybe it's the way the walls look, or the floor. I, I know there was a ritual there, that, but even before then, I thought it was the creepiest looking area in the game. That just kind of makes it a little bit creepier. But, I can't... Maybe it's because there's so many windows that just view into the dark. Maybe. White, plain, red carpet con or contrast with it, and the windows that surround the room that obviously in the darkness at the moment. Anyways, lounge door. Ask you a couple more things, please. Do you know what the medicine in the cupboard at the pub is for? You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. She tends to keep her wares under lock and key. So you know, our wedding night was quite a surprise. <laughs> I'm almost curious as to that's in context too, but I don't think I want to know. Tell me about your arthritis. Yeah. Oh, you found out about that. <laughs> well, yes. I'm old before my time. <laughs> That's very unlucky to have it so young. Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector. And sometimes life likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too debilitating. It's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem. Uh, makes it difficult to hold small things, though. What do you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? Not often, as and when, as and when. I keep some here, I keep some at home. It's not a problem. Was there a contradiction there? But I know something here. He's paying killers at work at home, but he claims that doesn't keep any medicine on site. Aha! Uh -huh. So, you don't keep any medicines on site at Atlas. No. Except your prescription painkillers. 
Well, these are not available to the students. But they are kept on site. Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody would have access. You're sure about that? Absolutely sure. And what are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> painkillers. Uh, just painkillers. Normal painkillers. Paracetamol. Codeine. Morphine. Well, all right, they're morphine tablets, yes. Oh, really? Oh, come on, Inspector. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them, or where they were. Sure about that? Yes. So it is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. If it was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. All right. Is that a clue? No. I might have more to dig there. Investigating. No, he's running a secure room at Atlas. Okay, well, anyways, let's ask a little bit more about this stuff then continue. Know anything about this? Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. We we have our own. Oh. IT chap. Lovely chap, in fact. Uh, fat and sweaty, though. It's, it's like a double act, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. Have you seen this before? No, sorry. Were you at Atlas when Simon's laptop was stolen? Oh, I believe I was, yes. He was taken from the storeroom in the hallway. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody could just have wandered along the lane, seen into the storeroom. It's not particularly secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. Uh, that's why we advise people to keep their valuables with them. You can't be too careful these days, Inspector. Yeah. <clears throat> Laptop taken in the storeroom. Storeroom isn't particularly secure, which of course contracts what he's saying. Da da. Contract. Uh -huh. Contradict. So the storeroom isn't particularly secure, yet you keep your morphine tablets in there. I thought you said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? I didn't mean that storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. I keep them in there. Okay, so where was it locked up? It's upstairs. It's got a combination lock on it. Nobody could have access to it except me and Dad. Nobody. I might have a look at that if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. A combination locked room, I see. Well, I might have a look around for that. See how secure and combination locked it really is. There are numbers on the back of this car. On the back of this card. That's all for the moment. Thank you. We'll get to that upstairs. <laughs> use an item. Use the business card. Yep. We all knew it. Welcome to the Mirror Room. This exercise is all about identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real self, which lies deep in our unconscious. As you move through the network of mirrors, practice seeing yourself as a stranger. The more you separate from your persona, the more aware you will become of your true desires and ambitions. Chant with us. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free.
free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. This exercise involves the use of liberation masks. You have now completed module one. Module 2 covers boundary testing, threshold testing, and extreme testing. Please read the notes carefully before attempting the module. This is obviously no goddamn storage room, whatever the fuck he was claiming. But yeah, I... So, I can say that's not what I was expecting in the slightest. I guess I need some sort of item to you do more here. Oh, she's outside. Oh, no, wait, no, it's that shadow. I thought it was somebody standing there. I think we have to ask a few questions. Just make sure there's nothing inside here. Also, keep in mind that that is a mirror room, and Lisa was talking about seeing an older, sulken-eyed version of herself in the mirror, saying that when the lights were off and she looked in the mirror, she saw demons. Connection? Hmm, we'll find out, I guess. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Can you tell me what you know about the mirror room upstairs? Oh, you found that then? Hmm. Well, it's very similar to the costumes, Inspector. It's designed to help the students look at themselves differently. And what do you do with the mirrors? You look at yourself, Inspector. You look at yourself until you start seeing yourself as, as others do. And you don't see yourself as, as you do anymore. It, it really, the idea is that you can see yourself eventually, any way you wish. So why in a locked room? To make sure you're not distracted, that's all. How often is it used? Not often, a few times a month. Some students find it useful, some don't. So we're not going to point out that I said it was a fucking storage room, but it's a fucking house of mirrors? I don't, how, is that even a storeroom? I fucking I don't know. I'll get back to Be you. Be back later on if that's okay. Painkiller and mirror, maybe. Ah, uh, sure, I'll try. Science. Ask about a few more things, please. the fuck he keeps his painkillers and laptops inside a room full of mirrors. I, I just can't make that correlation in my head. <clears throat> Guess not. Thank you. Probably be back later. <clears throat> Turn to the hallway. Guess we'll continue outward. I don't know why it's not a contradiction. I mean, is the mirror room a storeroom? Doesn't look like it, that's for certain. To the left. Just make sure there's like nothing else around here as I make my way back. Apparently I have more to talk about with everyone else though. I mean, it depends really with that. I mean, I guess the mirror room did have a safe in it. There was a safe in the mirror room, I'll give them that. I, now I'm sort of thinking about it. 
<clears throat> but I need to talk to people. Why? Couple more questions, if that's okay. Yeah, you know, just a few things here and there. Oh, it's the fucking mirror room. That's fucking weird. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Yeah. What's it used for? Well, it's mainly for the auto hypnosis module. Uh, you go in and you stare into the mirror and you go into a trance. Then, when you're ready, you come back out. So you just go in whenever you want to? Oh, no. Um, there's certain times when you're allowed in, and uh, only they know the combinations anyway, so you can't really get in. You don't know the combination? No. There's our contents in the combination to the mirror room. With the pin on the back of the card, obviously. Aha. So you didn't know the combination to the locked mirror room? No. Except... You've written it down, haven't you? This is the combination to the mirror room, Simon, that you wrote. It isn't a pin. It's a combination. Yeah. You see, this sort of thing makes me suspicious, Simon. What were you doing in there that you didn't want anyone, including me, to find out? It's just part of the course, isn't it? I just, I just wanted to go in there when I was ready. On your own? You didn't give a number to anyone else? No. Simon, there was morphine kept in that room that might have played a part in Kate Vine's death. Did Kate have the number? Yes, okay. Uh, we both went in. Together? We were trying to outdo each other. We we both tried to morph in. What do you mean, trying to outdo each other? It's part of the course. To see how far you can push yourself. To see if you could do something you wouldn't normally do. When was this? A few months ago. How often did you try it? Only that once. I'd never do it again. How about Kate? I don't know. Sorry. So that's how Kate got the morphine. But what exactly does this testing involve? Could this have been what killed Kate? Eleven o'clock. Just an hour left to solve this thing. That last chapter went surprisingly smoothly. We basically did everything pretty quickly. But, more mysteries. Midnight's the end of it. Oh, something's happening. I actually don't know if there's multiple endings, but based on how this game's been structured, I don't think there is. So Kate's not home. We obviously just witnessed something here, so let's go over to the Abbey Farm. <coughs> Going up the steps. Have to investigate. I'll start by looking at the greenhouse quickly. Go further up. Of course, this is a murder mystery, so we need to figure out who murdered Kate. I don't think she just killed herself. There's probably more going on here. There's something to investigate here, though. Let's look. So James is interested in poppy pods, is he? I think he's got some explaining to do. Poppy pod fun. Going on down. And continuing to go down. Ring the doorbell. Hi, Two James. More questions, please. We can talk to James for a while. We have a few things to ask him about. Let's roll. Recognize this at all? Yeah, he fixed my laptop. Does he live locally? I think so. Seen this before? Don't think so. Hmm. 
What can you tell me about several boxes of dried poppy pods in the greenhouse back there? Feel free to take some if you want. What are they for, James? Decoration? Why? Decoration. It's a big market for them among the over 70s. So what are you doing with them? Selling them. To grannies. Okay, James. Let's just cut to the chase. Are you extracting opium from them? Me? I can honestly say I've never done anything like that, Inspector. Sure about that. Scout's honour. And who was the guy delivering them? A friend. Someone gave them to him. He asked me if I wanted them. I said I'd have a look and see if I liked them. You just thought you'd have a look? No particular reason? I'm a plant scientist. That's what I do. Have you ever sold them to anyone else? I only got them a few minutes ago. In the past. You know Kate's body had opium in the blood when it was found? No, no, I didn't. Hey, hey, that's nothing to do with me. Let's hope not. I feel like there's more contradictions here, but I'll get back uh, that's to That's it for the time being, thank you. I'm gonna look more around town before I get back to him. Going on out. <clears throat> to the west. i ask you a couple more things, please. We have a lot of things to talk to him about as well. Let's roll. When did Ryan begin to suffer from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Really? The only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability to deal with any kind of discomfort. He pulled his back sometime last year. Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from arthritis. I thought he had medication for it. Oh, he only has medication because his GP, who is almost as dysfunctional as he is, keeps prescribing it for him. So you don't believe he really has arthritis? Not at all. Do you know who this is? Uh, Dean Hayfield, Aztec. Sorry, never heard of him. We have uh, some prisoner of a sort who does RIT. Large guy. No manners. Seen this before anywhere? No. And what do you know about Simon's laptop being stolen from Atlas? Uh, no, I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? Ryan paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV system at twice the price that it would probably cost. Seemed to do the trick, though. We haven't had a theft since. Can you tell me about the room with the mirrors at Atlas? The one with the combination lock? How did you get in there? I was given the code for the combination. By Ryan? Well, nobody else is uh, allowed to know the code, are they? And not in theory. So how is the room used on the course, then? It's a meditation room where the students can reflect on themselves, literally. And what about the CD? Well, that helps, too. It's part of the program. So you send the students into the room, they put the CD on, they stare into the mirrors. And how long does this last for? Until the CD finishes or they fall asleep. What else would you like to know? What do you know about poppy pods? Poppy pod? Ever come across anyone selling them, using them? No. I have a feeling there's a contradiction somewhere here. No thefts have happened since strikes me as something that's a lie. But for now, I'm going to leave Thank it you. Thank you. Probably be back later. <clears throat> Anything behind the house? Probably not. I'm looking though. The answer to that is no. No, there is not. And back into town. I don't think there's anything behind the pub, but I'll look. 
my completion of self and roll right here. Maybe the morphine being stolen wasn't that after the laptop theft. But yes, but I don't think with him we have anything to talk to him about him claiming that morphine's been stolen. So he might not even know about it, so that means that he's not lying. This is not a contradiction if we don't know if he hasn't talked about it. <clears throat> Go to the restaurant. Turn to the bar. Let's ring the bell. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen this before? No. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Do you know anything about a locked room at Atlas with mirrors in it? Not off the top of my head, no. I think that's a question for Ryan. What do you know about poppy pods? Go on. Ever come across anyone trying to sell them or anything like that? Maybe even in here? <sighs> Not that I remember. Doesn't know much about poppy pods. That seems like a lie. She's the gardener. Everyone says it. Has to be a contradiction or something. She she likes she's everyone calls her the farmer. Da, 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 da. But I don't know what uh what which way I would use there. I don't know what point would be to contradict though. But she's definitely lying about not knowing about this. Nothing around here sounds like it would work there. She's been described as a farmer. She grew up on a farm. She's not knowing much about poppy seeds doesn't quite add up. That's not a contradiction. Where would it say she's a farmer? Let's see. Let's just go from here. Okay, very well. Okay, I was very drunk. License? No, no, no. No, Vibes from Brewery. There's Vibes Kitchen Brewery. Let's try to see where I can pinpoint her on this one. So she has my necktie list. There we go. Inside. Records the trick about Mary Clylands. I right, suggest so asking Ryan about the mask. Mask is on this course. Alright. Design last year, and I've seen a black mirror before. Blackstone, you saw Blackstone playing on the left, and no land for This is a lie. This is a lie. Now that I'm looking at it, Liam was part of the band Blackstone. Didn't Blackstone used to play at the bar all the time? Okay, never mind, it's not a lie, it's just you didn't know him well. Okay, I, I got excited there, but okay, I guess she explained it. Now, where is this tree thing? It's cannabis. I mean, does that have anything to do with this? Rebecca, I don't trust you an instant saying about this. Knows the doll brain made the dolls for Ryan. Jeez. Uh, uh, I mean, other people call her a farmer, but she doesn't call herself that. She's known a lot about plants, so. Never comes across anyone involved with the occult. But she said that James cast spells in the woods. That's a contradiction. 
Well, I guess, I guess he does think he's a fantasist, not particularly a cult person. Okay. Let's try to summon stable students. Documents alpha test. Cupboard contains Christmas shrine. I tried that there. I've already tried that combination, so... Ugh, I know you're lying! But I'm able to pinpoint you pretty soon. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Uh, North line. Nothing here. Making our way downtown. Go to the Eden Lodge. So I've already asked both of them about things, but we got more to uh, ask and all. Questions, if you don't mind. All right, how about poppy pods? Odd question, but have you ever seen anyone handling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods, as in for opium? No. Though James did have opium tea once, I think. Where did he get it from? I don't know. I didn't ask. James does his own thing. What does opium tea taste like? I don't know. I didn't try it. Really? I didn't want to risk it, did I? But I went to hospital once. Uh, I, I had codeine and I went into anaphylactic shock. The doctor said it was um, an opium derivative, apparently, so... How do I get that in the form? That's me saying contradicting here because that information you just told me is exactly what I need to contradict him, not contradict James, who says he's never taken opium. So obviously James is lying there, but how what how do I prove him here? I don't know how I get that. There has to be something which I have to contradict here. Let's look. Let's look. There's nothing there, I already know. Mike wants to Simon's cousin, makes his own homebrews, and see Jane's very often. I don't know, something like this, maybe? Probably not. Probably not at all. But yeah. Right! The allergic room. Yep, there uh -huh. you go. Kind of, that was obvious. I was overlooking it. You and Kate took morphine in the mirror room. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. But you're allergic to opiates, Simon. Opium. You didn't take the morphine at all, did you? Well, no. No, I didn't. Uh, Kate did, though. I thought you were trying to outdo each other. That was the point, wasn't it? We weren't trying to outdo each other as such. Go on. Ryan wanted me to test Kate, to see how far she would go to be prime candidate. What candidate? Prime candidate. It, it means the best person in the group, basically. What do you mean, test her? But you do it in pairs. One person's the tester, it's me, and the other person's the... Victim? Well, it's not like that. It's completely consensual. It's just boundary testing. Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Because they thought she was the best student. Well, maybe. I... I don't know. I just did what I was told, okay? Except you decided to give her morphine. To break the law. Well, I can't change that now, can I? She didn't die of a morphine overdose, did she? She died because she drowned. But she drowned for reasons that aren't clear. Atlas seem to have this all neatly worked out. If Simon's telling the truth, Atlas are lighting the fuse and then retiring to a safe distance, letting students test themselves and push themselves to their limits while avoiding all comeback. Is this what happened to Kate? Alright. 
So, prime candidate magic. Be back later on, if that's okay. <laughs> he says that so casually after all the accusations. Okay, let's talk about her with all these three things. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? The mirror room? Um, no, I, I heard about it, but I think it was only for the students later on the course. Something like that. Strange question. Have you ever known of anyone selling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? Um, don't think so. Isn't that opium? Kind of. It's okay. Do you know what a prime candidate is at Atlas? Yes, it's um, what every student wants to be. It's the best student. Apparently you get a great high paid job afterwards. I don't think that really happens though. Did you know anyone in the running to be prime candidate? What, like Simon? <laughs> I don't think they bid Simon, to be honest. Well, he's got too many morals, and you can't have both at Atlas. Okay, yeah. that's it for now. Thank you. People the bug about stuff. Time to save my game. And whisk myself away this way. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, which I am using to try and make this more of a livelihood, not just for missed game videos, but little games to make my own time, and to bring different types of videos to the channel. You can find the link for my Patreon in the description below, or in the video, obviously. If you'd be interested in seeing me recording gameplay videos and doing other things live, I stream quite regularly and record almost all my gameplay over a site called Hitbox TV on my channel. You can also see that in the video currently. I hope you enjoyed the video, and adieu.